everyone, it's Maya from WholesomeYum.com and today I'm showing you how to make a taco salad. This is one of my favorite weeknight Mexican recipes because it's so easy to make. It takes just 20 minutes and the whole family will love it. It's perfect for Taco Tuesday or let's be real, any day. Let's do this. The beauty of this recipe is that it uses simple, natural ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen. And you can customize it as much as you like. So, what goes in a taco salad? First, we've got the ground beef. This is the meat that we use in our taco salad. If you like, you can also use ground turkey or chicken or even a shredded chicken. Totally up to you what protein you like in your salad. We season our meat with a taco seasoning. I make my own and I'll link that down below, but you can also use a store-bought one if you like. And just keep in mind, if your taco seasoning is not salted, you'll want to add salt to your meat. The amount of salt that you'll need is about one teaspoon per pound of meat. We have a little bit of oil. I use avocado oil. You can also use olive oil if you like. The oil is just for frying the meat. The other thing I like to add when I add the seasoning is a little bit of water. It just makes the meat a little bit more creamy. If you don't want to add that, totally fine. You can also just add the seasoning by itself. Let's go over the veggies in the taco salad. We've got lettuce. I use romaine. You can use any kind of greens you like. Grape tomatoes. If you prefer, you can also chop up some Roma tomatoes or any other tomato that you like. Next, we have the cheese. I like to use a cheddar cheese. You can also use a different kind. You can try a Mexican blend, or if you like a little kick, pepper jack is really delicious. My favorite part of a taco salad is the avocado. It's creamy, it's perfect for any Mexican recipe. I think it's a must. For our dressing, we're keeping it super simple. Instead of mixing up an actual dressing, we're simply gonna mix some salsa and some sour cream. When you stir it all together, it's gonna to make this creamy dressing. You're gonna absolutely love it, and it's way easier than making a dressing from scratch. At the end, we have some green onions. If you like, you can use a different kind of onion that you like. Red onions are great for Mexican recipes, or you can use a white onion. Totally up to you. Now that we have all the ingredients covered, let's make this taco salad. Grab your skillet and place it over medium-high heat. A 10-inch skillet is a good size, and be sure it has a heavy bottom so that your meat cooks evenly. Add a teaspoon of avocado oil. You only need a little bit since your meat will have fat in it as well. Add a pound of ground beef and use a wooden spoon or spatula to break it up as you cook. Cook the meat for seven to 10 minutes until it's nice and browned. You also want the extra moisture to evaporate. Once your meat is cooked and nice and dry, add two tablespoons of taco seasoning and a quarter cup of water. Stir it all together and cook for a little longer to make your taco meat. Now it's time to chop our veggies. Grab a head of romaine lettuce that's about eight ounces and slice it. Then Turn and chop in the opposite direction. Add it to your bowl that you're gonna use for your taco salad. Next, we've got grape tomatoes. You need one and a third cups of grape tomatoes and you can slice them in any direction you like. My favorite part, the avocado. Slice it lengthwise, then twist and hope that it's beautiful inside. Grab one half and slice lengthwise, then slice in the opposite direction. Use a spoon to release the cubes of avocado. For the side with the pit, pierce the pit with a knife, then twist to release. Repeat the slices with the other half of the avocado and add it to your bowl. Next, we've got the green onions. I like to use little scissors to make slices. That way they don't rip or tear if you use a knife. You'll need half a cup of green onions total. Add three quarter cup of cheddar cheese, a third of a cup of salsa, 
and a third of a cup of sour cream. Finally, add the cooked ground beef to your salad. Our taco salad is ready. The lettuce is crisp, the ground beef is warm and flavorful, the tomatoes are juicy, and the sour cream and salsa make the best taco salad dressing. You're going to love this salad. Finally, it's time to toss it all together. You might want to use a slightly larger bowl than I did so that it's easier to do. I like to use these wooden tongs, but two spoons will work just as well. Mixing up the salad will stir together the salsa and the sour cream to make a creamy dressing that you're going to love. Transfer your salad to a plate and dig in. I hope you'll make this taco salad soon. If you do, be sure to leave a comment, let me know what you think. And snap a photo, post it with hashtag wholesome yum so that I can see it too. See you next time on Wholesome Yum where I share easy, healthy, and keto recipes all with 10 ingredients or less.